In mathematics, a subring of R is a subset of a ring that is itself a ring when binary operations of addition and multiplication on R are restricted to the subset, and which shares the same multiplicative identity as R. For those who define rings without requiring the existence of a multiplicative identity, a subring of R is just a subset of R that is a ring for the operations of R. The latter gives a strictly weaker condition, even for rings that do have a multiplicative identity, so that for instance all ideals become subrings. With definition requiring a multiplicative identity, the only ideal of R that is a subring of R is R itself. Formal definition. A subring of a ring is a subset S of R that preserves the structure of the ring, i.e., a ring with S R. Equivalently, it is both a subgroup of and a submonoid of. Examples. The ring Z and its quotients Z and Z have no subrings other than the full ring. Every ring has a unique smallest subring, isomorphic to some ring Z and Z with n a non-negative integer. The integers Z correspond to n equals 0 in this statement, since Z is isomorphic to Z, 0 Z. Subring test. The subring test is a theorem that states that for any ring R, a subset of R is a subring if it is closed under multiplication and subtraction, and contains the multiplicative identity of R. As an example, the ring Z of integers is a subring of the field of real numbers and also a subring of the ring of polynomials Z, X. Ring extensions not to be confused with a ring theoretic analog of a group extension. If S is a subring of a ring R, then equivalently R is said to be a ring extension of S. Written as R, S in similar notation to that for field extensions. Subring generated by a set. Let R be a ring. Any intersection of subrings of R is again a subring of R. Therefore, if X is any subset of R, the intersection of all subrings of R containing X is a subring S of R. S is the smallest subring of R containing X. S is said to be the subring of R generated by X. If S equals R, we may say that the ring R is generated by X. Relation to ideals Proper ideals are subrings that are closed under both left and right multiplication by elements from R. If one omits the requirement that rings have a unity element, then subrings need only be non-empty and otherwise conform to the ring structure, and ideals become subrings. Ideals may or may not have their own multiplicative identity. The ideal I equals Z im Z of the ring Z times Z equals X, Y and Z with component wise addition and multiplication has the identity, which is different from the identity of the ring. So I is a ring with unity and a subring without unity, but not a subring with unity of Z times Z. The proper ideals of Z have no multiplicative identity. If I is a prime ideal of a commutative ring R, then the intersection of I with ever subring S of R remains prime in S. In this case one says that I lies over I S. The situation is more complicated when R is not commutative. Profile by commutative subrings. A ring may be profiled by the variety of commutative subrings that it hosts. The quaternion ring H contains only the complex plane as a planar subring. The coquaternion ring contains three types of commutative planar subrings. The dual number plane, the split complex number plane, as well as the ordinary complex plane. The ring of 3 times 3 real matrices also contains three-dimensional commutative subrings generated by the identity matrix and a nilpotent epsilon of order 3. For instance, the Heisenberg group can be realized as the join of the groups of units of two of these nilpotent generative subrings of 3 times 3 matrices.